What's up, Cereal Hut? Today we're going to talk about Pac-Man cereal. And first, let's talk a little bit about Pac-Man. The Pac-Man arcade game came out here in the U.S. in the fall of 1980, and it was an instant hit. If you walked into an arcade at this time, you'd definitely see somebody pumping quarters into this machine. You all know the game. Little yellow Pac-Man goes around trying to eat pellets while not getting touched by the ghosts, Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. This game was so popular that in 1982, Hanna-Barbera made a Saturday morning cartoon based on the video game. It ran for two seasons till around 1983. It was the first cartoon based on a video game. Now to capitalize on this Pac-Man craze that was sweeping the nation, General Mills decided to release Pac-Man cereal in 1983. Now Pac-Man isn't just a game you play, it's a crispy corn cereal that's coming your way. New Pac-Man. There are marshmallow bits you'll find inside. Inky and Blinky and Pinky. I'm So you can see from the commercial, it's basically just sugary kicks and little marshmallows shaped like Pac-Man and the ghosts. And they also had a lot more commercials for this stuff than I expected. In addition to the real life kids, they also had animated commercials too. Pac-Man isn't just a game you play, it's a crispy corn cereal that's coming your way. Now this stuff was a big hit with kids. I know I loved it. They had a bunch of different prizes and premiums to go along with the cereal as well. You can see this box has an offer for a game watch on it. Here on the back of this box, they have Pac-Man giving you instructions on how to eat the cereal, as if you need that. And then here at the bottom of the box, they show you what this watch looks like. It's kind of cool. You can tell time, and you can play Pac-Man with it. Then at some point, they introduced Super Pac-Man Marshmallows. So these were just bigger marshmallows, but a way to get kids exciting by adding Super Pac-Man to the cereal and changing it up a bit. Now at some point, they switched it up again, this time adding Miss Pac-Man Marshmallows to the mix. Love Miss Pac-Man Marshmallow, she's got a shocky pink bow, oh! Miss Pac-Man's inside, Pac-Man cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast, yeah! Now it's no surprise they added Miss Pac-Man Marshmallows to the cereal. The Miss Pac-Man arcade game was just as popular as the original. In fact, I know my dad prefers that version best. Anytime he sees a Miss Pac-Man arcade game, he has to play it. But there's actually something really interesting about adding the Miss Pac-Man Marshmallows to the cereal. See, it says on the back of the box here that it's the first marshmallow with two colors, shocking pink and white. Now, I'm not sure if they meant the first marshmallow in this cereal or the first marshmallow in any cereal that have two colors. And I tried to do some research on this, but I couldn't come up with a straight answer. But I'm leaning towards the possibility that this white and pink Miss Pac-Man marshmallow was the first time we ever saw a dual colored Marbit in a cereal. And that's pretty cool. Now, this box didn't come with any prizes, but there's still cereal inside, so let's open it up and check it out. Okay, so this bowl of Pac-Man cereal doesn't look anything like the original Pac-Man cereal looked like. The marshmallows are all shriveled up. The crunchy corn pellets still look the same, though the color's a little off. And there's a Pac-Man marshmallow, but that's not the right color. Here's one of the dual color Miss Pac-Man marshmallows. You can see it's all shriveled up and brown, but you can still see it has two colors. And there are two of the ghost marshmallows. You can see they're really shriveled up and you can barely make out what color they were. Now there's some conflicting reports about how long the cereal lasted. I think it came off shelves around 1985 when I was about five years old. Others claim it lasted until 1989, but I'm pretty sure that's inaccurate. Now, I really like this stuff. Of all the video game cereals that come and go, this is my favorite. I know some people have a soft spot for Nintendo cereal, but I feel like Pac-Man cereal really captured the game the best. And it tasted really good too. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Watch out, the ghosts are chasing you. Cereal.